Hello everyone, I'm the game here, and welcome back to my Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we f took on Bowser. I can't remember that one. It's been a little while. And we began the Beach Bowl Galaxy. And I expressed that I don't like water levels because they suck. And this episode, we're going to go further into the kitchen and take on more of the Beach Bowl Galaxy. Hopefully, finishing it so I'm done with it and I don't have to take part in it anymore. But who knows? Maybe I won't get that lucky. I've got to start a timer because, you know, I'm stupid. Give me one second. Da -da 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 -da. Shut up! Okay. Okay, so we have one lap. We have a couple more tasks in the Beachville Galaxy, specifically a hidden star that we have no idea where it is. And by that, I mean you know exactly where it is, because I've played this game before many times. Let's go to the secret undersea cavern that isn't actually a secret undersea cavern. Oh, I feel it's kind of relieving that this place is almost done. Because, I don't know. Despite the tropical vibe, I, I still kind of just don't like it. Uh, I said this a lot in the last episode, but eh. I'm not afraid to repeat myself. I mean, I do it a lot as is. This is not at least just saying I'm not afraid to do it. Uh, there was, oh wait, I almost forget. I was in such a rush to get out and to be done with Beach World, I actually forgot. There's something I never actually showed in the Beach World Galaxy. Might as well show that off. Gets me out of the water for a bit, so why not? If you come up here, and you'll notice there's a pipe under the water. Lay gas. It's a star bit room. I mean, what could we possibly get here? Totally not star bits. It's not like star bits ever in this game. It's not like that's the main collectible. Oops. Oh, nope. Okay. Okay, this is not going as well as I would like. Okay. So, you're tr so what you want to do is not break these blocks, but as you can tell, I'm not good at this. Uh. This is what we're gonna do. Okay. This went better in a, in another life. Oh, you suck! <laughs> this is just embarrassing at this point. I got hit by a Goomba. Twice. Ugh. If you get that coin, you get a bunch of star bits for whatever, for whatever blocks remain in this room. If you excuse me, I need to shake down my health insurance money from that Goomba. Well, wasn't that riveting? I took damage, we got more star bits, and nothing else was accomplished. That could have been skipped entirely, and it would not have affected it. The only difference is, you would never have known. Why was that shell at the bottom flashing? Did anyone else notice that? That wasn't just me, right? I'm not crazy, I swear. As, as much as my psychiatrist tries to tell me I am, I swear I'm not. Okay. Where am I going? Camera? There we go. No, not underwater. Above the water, please. No. Game. And this is part of why I don't like water levels. The controls are working against me. Okay. No, that's not what I want. Why'd you do a backflip? You need this shell too. Okay, we're taking the long way because this just isn't working. I s okay, so I want to say... Again, I had a failed recording because, you know, it's not this let's play if I don't have a failed recording. And, um, it went so much smoother. I only broke one block in, in that one level, and I didn't have any trouble with- Oh, right, I could use the brakes on the shell. I totally forget that these things have brakes. Whatever. Our secret is over here! Surprise! And as you can see, there's another star flying 
in the sky. And we get the introduction to a new enemy returning from Super Mario Sunshine, the Cataquacks! Uh, I was gonna say, is it weird that uh, I actually, despite not liking water, I actually kind of like Super Mario Sunshine? Which is a whole game about, like, the tropical. I guess it's because there's not really many swimming levels in that game. There's only a couple I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, Cataquacks, they will follow you and then fling them through the air, but they can't do any actual damage to you, which is kind of nice. But with his help, we can get this coin, which allows us to get a new power-up. The Ice Flower, which is my favorite power in the game. The Ice Flower has been done, but usually it's just an ice version of the Fire Flower. Here, it's not that. Here, it is instead its own cool power-up where you can ice skate on any water as well as wall jump up waterfalls. It's so cool. It's like you become... Uh, why can't I remember Iceman's name from the X-Men? Bobby Drake. Anyway, so with our cool p new power-up, we're going to enlist the help of our Cataquack friend if he will work with us and guide him over to where the star is and he will fling us up and launch us into it Woohoo! weirdly enough that part was went badly in the failed recording the part where I was actually trying to get the cataquack over to the star because when cataquacks touch water they die and he kept and he kept falling in the water weirdly enough that's where I went wrong I bumped my mic stand hurt my knuckle Unlike Sonic, it does not chuckle. Uh, anyways. We're not done with the Beach Bowl Galaxy because, uh... Well... The devil doesn't take a day off, I guess. No, we have one more, uh, level, which I hinted at. The Fast Foe Comet. As was explained by the Purple Luma, these will speed up foes to... Make you hate everything. Okay, they're not that bad, but they're still kind of terrible. I mean, you can see the tox boxes are a little bit faster, but not, like, impossibly fast. I'd say these are more annoying than bad. But that's probably going to be me shooting myself in the foot. How did I not set that disappearing platform off? I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. But I kind of have to ask why that gift horse, you know, didn't have a gift. Okay, whatever. Um, let's keep going. Weird things are happening. Shells aren't working. Oh no, oh no. Toxbox no, Toxbox no. Okay, I'm good. I'm safe. There's no evil here. This house is clean. I hinted at this, and I think I made it sound a lot worse than it is, but really it's just kind of an inconvenience. Talk boxes themselves aren't even that threatening. Although you can die on their lips, like you saw me hanging out in the opening there. You can actually get caught like on their, uh, like on the edge of that opening, which has happened to me before, and that's how I know. Isn't that a fun little tidbit? Oh. I thought I missed the disappearing platform. Excuse me, Mr. Thwomp, I need to go under you. Thank you. What a kind gentleman. And we're done with the Beach Bowl Galaxy. That's probably my favorite level in Beach Bowl, because there's no swimming. One moment. Okay. I was about to throw- I was about to throw something, but, uh, there was no longer a need when I did. A new chapter is an artist storybook. Joy. Again, we'll cover that another day. Hey, look, I am repeating myself. Who would have thought? Oh, wait, I said the repeating myself thing off recording. Ignore me. Um... Anyway, let's go into one of my favorite galaxies, the Ghostly Galaxy. Although the term favorite means nothing with me, does it? Because I say everything's my favorite. 
hey, this menu screen's my favorite. But we do get to have my actual favorite character in Mario, Luigi! Th that's not me joking. I actually do love Luigi. I know the word favorite has lost all meaning when I'm talking, but I'm being sincere. Or am I? Perhaps I'm just exaggerating. And you will never know. Yes. Gasp. Here we are in the ghostly galaxy. I like spooky things. I have to say that this. We detected signs of Luigi in this galaxy. I hope he hasn't been eating my ghosts. I always have that question. Do ghosts eat people? Like, that's always a thing that... I mean, they don't exactly... Why would they eat? They're dead. They don't have need for sustenance. Is it just for fun? Are they like the Titans from uh, Attack on Titan? I mean, that's my best guess, but it still seems odd. These are the weird questions I'm asking you, the audience. I don't expect an answer, but... I just have to ask them, because they come to my brain space. Anyway, now for another favorite, Boos! Look at them, they're so cute, I love them. Look at him, he's all shy. Hello, friend. Ow! Okay, he didn't want a hug. Boos are lovable little creatures who will follow you around and get shy whenever you look at them. But they... But they are so excited when they see you. So much so that they ignore the fact that there's a light swinging ahead. And light kills them. They get that excited to see you. Oh, I thought there'd be a life back here. Guess not. Anyway, if we come up here, this other boo will follow us. I also love the way they stick out their tongue. It's, I just love boos. They're cute. Oh no, he got past the light. He saw through my he saw through my trap. My ingenious plan is foiled. Okay, dude, you're gonna have to stop. Thank you. There's a cat on me now. Without con that's honestly a lot funnier without context. Oh, I didn't even mention these guys. Pump Goombas. The Pump Goombas? Jack of Goombas? Jack of... I'll put it on screen. I... They'll walk around and occasionally drop a Will-O-Wisp. If you jump on them, it's not going to do much, but if you ground pound on them, it will instantly kill them. They're basically a slightly harder Goomba that's meant to go with the spooky factor. But, the, again, they're Goombas. They're not hard to kill. You make some pumpkin pie out of them, they're done. If I can make pumpkin pie out of Ow! Okay, the will o wisps are annoying, but the Goombas themselves aren't that tough. And you might notice the floor is cracked here, or the ceiling is cracked here. This area is cracked here. If you ground pound through it, You'll have a nice little area, which is a nice library. I'm sure there's some Nancy Drew in here or something. I didn't see Boo's reading Nancy Drew. And we get a bunch of coins and not as good as Star Bits, but at least we can use them to buy more Star Bits. I wonder what the exchange rate on that is. Because, like, uh, Star Bits are space currency. That's a sentence. And I really want to know what, like, the exchange rate for star bits to coins is, or the other way around. Both are, in are like, intrinsically worthless, so I'd like to see what the exchange rate is. Game theory, get on this. To space! Okay. And here we are, at the top of the spooky mansion, where Luigi is. And he says his famous line. Wait, hang on. Mario. Mario. I think part of the reason I love this whole is it's, it just gives you the whole Luigi's Mansion vibe. And I love Luigi's Mansion. I still haven't played 3, though. I should pick that up. I only got my Switch recently, and I, but I've been uh, playing so, uh, only a couple games. I played uh, Mario Odyssey as well as Pokemon Sword, and I had so I honestly had fun with those. I, I kind of get why people don't like 
uh, Pokemon Sword as much as other games, but I don't think it's necessarily bad. That's basically my review of it. That that if I do, I could go more in depth, but we're not here to talk about Pokemon. We're here to talk about Mario. And we're here to talk about our new path, the Boo Mushroom, which turns us into the amazing Boo. Ah, oh, my my life is complete. This is it. This is game over. I've done everything I've ever wanted to accomplish ever. I am a Boo. Anyway, with the Boo Mushroom, we are able to fly straight up with the ability of Boo. And and if you shake the Wii Remote, you can become completely invisible. Ooh, spooky. And the extra benefit is ghosts love you. I am loved by my... Oh. I was finally loved by Boo, and then I was betrayed. Yep, any damage you take will, of course, uh, knock you out of the power. On the bright side, though... Uh, wait, no, on, not on the bright side. I meant you will also be knocked out of the power up if you are, uh, if you are caught in the light. Like, like such. I didn't mean to do that, but what a good example. Thank you, me. You're welcome, me. And I do want to point this out because it's kind of funny. If you fly, if you, uh, come over here, I could have come from the other side and try to talk to Luigi. He's just like, no, a ghost. It's not like I've killed a bunch of them. Can you kill ghosts? I don't know, but I definitely captured a bunch, yet I'm still scared of them. Now you have to come over here, fall on the light, and then bounce up here. Mario. Blah, you finally came. I got lost with the dodds. It was terrible, but I found the power stone, so that makes up for it, right? Aw, oh, Luigi, just you being you makes up for it. You're a good brother. But thank you for the star, I could honestly use it. Let's go home. Let's indeed. Let's grab this star and do a brotherly pose. The best pose in the game. Yeah. Welcome back. I can see your brother from here. If you ask him, I bet he'll help you search for the power stars. <laughs> and I'm sure he has a lot to tell you. You should go speak to him over there by the garage. Rosalina is... I decided that Rosalina says garage. She seems that fancy type. Why does she send everyone who, like... Why does she send everyone to the garage? Is Luigi... Does she have, like, Luigi living out of the garage? This is a nice little garage to be living out of. I feel like this is some form of use. Blow, you're looking for power stars, right? Let me help. I think you might have missed one. Good day, Galaxy. Blasphemy. If I find it, I'll write you a letter. Keep your eyes peeled for it. I will. I mean, I'm sure you're telling utter lies because I make no mistakes. But, whatever. Feel free to try. I think we have time for one more star this episode, so let us go back to the ghostly galaxy. I'm having fun long jumping. It's a long walk back to the kitchen. I honestly should have cut this out, but I didn't stop talking, so that means I'm not gonna. Alright, we have time for one more star in the Ghostly Galaxy, and luckily it's one that I kind of dread, but honestly it's not that hard. Again, I think a lot of these levels are harder, because I play, because it just locked in my memory that they're hard from when I was a kid. So I always am like, oh, these are super hard, and miserable, and I don't know, sometimes I'm right. I know one of my least favorite levels is still kind of hard. I'm better at games in general, so... I do over exaggerate a bit when I say it's hard, but anyways. Hey, let's say this time. The brigade members haven't come back. Why are they up to? I don't know. Eating? Maybe they just want to be away from you. You're not that special, Captain Toad. You think you're so great because you got your own game? Well, I have plenty of games. I'm better than you. Going up. I actually haven't played Captain Toad's game. I know it's like a fun little puzzle game, but I just never got around to it. Cat, stop playing with the <laughs> wrist strap. 
I should be wearing that for safety, but safety doesn't exist. <laughs> so you're after it too? Well, you have to race me for it. Uh, sure, if my Wii remote will stop freaking out. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, that's my line. I'll sue. This level's not hard. It's just a mad dash using pole stars. And if you have a good aim, you can pretty much do it without any hesitation. There's a cat on me. She's just like, oh, you know what? I don't care that you're recording. Let's cause chaos. Which is, which pretty much describes my cat to a T. That's just her existence. Oh, you're trying to do something? Let me stop that. Uh, Mario. Little shortcut here if you want to take this sling star. Keep in mind though, you're going to have to do pole star right away. Otherwise, you might die. And no one likes dying. Except for the Grim Reaper. I'm pretty sure he'd go out of business if he didn't like that. I can't eat eating my wrist strap, but I don't want to stop as I am big. So you try to win this race. Yay! Okay, stop eating my wrist strap. Chaos Maker. <laughs> One minute thirty seventy, huh? Well, I promise I'll take this star. Go on, take it and go. I hate your face. You got a star. Blah, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows I am. Help me! Well, he proved me wrong. Might as well go save him for it. Huh, what is that place? Looks familiar, but then again. Give me let me give you this picture so you don't want to forget where Luigi is. To view a picture, press minus or plus to press the access pause screen, then use the letter I contract the picture. Thank you for your help, Mel Toad. But we're not gonna save Luigi right away, because you know, I hate being proven wrong. Instead, we're gonna call it an episode. Thank you all for watching this episode of Super Mario Galaxy! If you like this part, leave a like to show what you did, and if you really liked it, press subscribe for more like it every Tuesday and Thursday, except not because I have been going through hell in my life. I'll try to get back on a regular schedule from here on out. And if you didn't like it, well, there's a button for that too, and you can feel free to press it, and maybe even leave a comment telling me what you didn't like. But what if you like my thumbnail art, which I have not been mentioning, or maybe the end card art? Well then go ahead and follow the Jazzy on uh, Twitter. She does all my artwork, as well as some artwork of her own, and she's a really good friend of mine. And maybe you just want to see what chaos my editor is up to when she's not editing my videos. Well you can follow her at Alinksa, or at Alinksa Art for her artwork. She never posts anything there, but you can follow it. Anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Super Mario Galaxy, and I will see you all next time! Have a lovely day. No flash photography.